Hi hello welcome you all to another session uh, discuss about capture on touch application installation and its overview so it allows you to create a scan data effectively and variety of output functions let's see so in order to download a capture on touch uh, you, you look for your scanner details first of all you'll have to install your scanner driver then you'll have to go for your uh, capture on touch so here I have already downloaded the particular DRC 240 drivers and go to the software tab and you have a capture on touch v5 pro uh, click download in this case I have downloaded capture on touch as well so I have downloaded driver as well as the software of the uh, hardware so now we have uh, we have to install the scanner drivers so that we, the scanning uh, emulation can be installed in your PC. So extract the file and follow the installation process as shown in the picture. So now we have installed the scanner driver on the respective computer followed by we will have to install so I'm just make sure whether your default basic scanner is working or not so now I'm using a Windows scanning uh, utility to check because I have DRC 240 so I would like to make sure my, my present computer is able to scan because this is a basic scan functionality this should work in order to integrate with any application so yes my scanner is uh, working well with this particular application So let me install now capture on touch application so this is this is the time I'm just installing the capture on touch application follow the flow So once you have installed a capture on a touch application, automatically the sub menus will be created in the startup menu. So you can go and select the configuration menu and uh, instruct where you want to store this particular output uh, files. For that you'll have to specify well in advance. So click start and look for capture on touch. And these are the sub menus and you will have a system configuration the moment you click system configuration it will take you a screen where you want to save your data so that, that can be easily changeable in later as well so once you define your page then open the capture on touch so by default now I have installed uh, the light version if you have installed the license version you will have a much more options and possibility to explore it so i have two different menus one is select a document and select output select a document uh, is about to what document type you are using and select output is where you want to uh, do it so at this point of time it is a desktop save to folder i have selected the option and i can customize the folder where i i can scan and uh, what format i, ha I have to do that's also is quite possible then I can select document what document uh, properties or DPI is color mono what specifications then click scan 
this time you should keep a paper in the scanner automatically the scan will be processed based on the instructions what you are given so this is a preview of the scanning output the moment you click finish then it's going to save into respective folder and it will give a link for you to access this particular folder like this yeah you could see now we have uh, pages scanned so different pages You can add a new document uh, at the moment it is text so which means this particular uh, presets it's meant for only text format so when I click next probably whatever the text related settings basically it is a grayscale has been incorporated with that so select a uh, select output is still it is a desktop uh, only where I have assigned to the folders and you can still select uh, full auto also it's a preset like by default it gives a full uh, color ability Now let's see how to add a different output method. At this moment I, I have only pictures folder and desktop. If you have license version you can still go ahead and do with your cloud uh, portfolio like a Google Drive, OneDrive, SharePoint, so many things. So now for me both are working uh, as a desktop as well as this particular folder. Shortcuts can be created, the frequent use options can be created as per the usage pattern. Yeah, that's all about uh, Capture on Touch uh, Pro uh, light version. So this is a quite interesting tool to use and uh, to streamline your output in a different uh, methods. Thank you for your time and uh, thanks for watching as well. Stay tuned.